Hey guys, and welcome to another emblem tutorial. I know I haven't done one of these in pretty much a couple months now, or like when Black Ops 2 came out. Um, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is kind of coming to an end, so I'm going to be trying to get other emblem ideas out there. I've been writing some up and uh, experimenting with a couple of them, and hopefully I can get those out to you before uh, pretty much the end of October, because Ghost is going to be coming out in November. And uh, so yeah, I've been trying to find some pretty easy emblems that I can do so that uh, you guys can do them too. Because I know a lot of you guys were having some troubles with the Mew emblem, the Pikachu emblem, the Raichu emblem. And uh, I don't want to make it too difficult for anyone. And uh, I don't want to try and make it too difficult on me trying to explain how to do them. And it's like, you know, really difficult. So um, I've come up with a couple of them that are really easy. And there should be another whole set. It's a Pokemon related one. I hope you guys enjoy that one as well. Um, that's going to be coming out. But anyways, we're going to be doing Cyanide and Happiness. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically uh, this comic strip. It's a really funny comic strip. Um, sometimes it's really harsh and sometimes it's really funny, uh, mostly funny, and uh, lately I've been reading a lot of them again. Um, I used to like read a lot of them before, but I've been reading them a lot of them again uh, recently. So uh, I decided I'm going to try and do one of them, and I ended up making one. It looks like this, and it really doesn't take a lot of layers. It only takes about eight layers for the head, the body, and the, um, the arms, and then another two or four, maybe like four layers for the eyes and extra facial features and stuff like that and uh, everything else is just extra and uh, I like it just because it looks kind of cute and it's like a little sticker on your gun so uh, I'm going to show you guys pretty much how to do the basics of how to make the body and um, just a regular face not this one in particular but just a regular face and uh, how you guys can pretty much change it up to however you want like how in the back there I have a dead guy that's pretty much has a gunshot wound to the head and some blood splatter so you guys can be really creative with it so let's get to it so we're gonna go to new emblem here and we're gonna go to layer one and what I like to do is so I can see everything because you can barely see anything in this view right here um, I like to go to tools and grab the round square and just enlarge it you can remove this at any time this way it just helps you uh, see your image better and uh, for no particular reason, I'm just going to go to layer 12. And we're going to start there. Uh, just because I don't want everything to be so crowded together. And uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with the head. And we're going to be grabbing the full circle. And we're going to change the color to black. And in this case, we're going to be working on just one character. So um, we're going to be, let's just say, we'll put it uh, like right here, I guess. Something like that. Okay. So you want the head to be kind of bigger. It's a little bit bigger than the body um, in most cases. So we'll just say it's around that size. You guys can make it whatever size you want. You're going to press select if you're on PS3. I'm not sure what it would be on the Xbox or the uh, PC. But you're going to press select and you're going to copy it over. And then you're going to take the 12th layer again. And you're going to make it the skin tone. It's usually this second last one right here. Not this one, but this one. That's usually what all the comics use. So you're going to grab that one. And then you're going to uh, make it a little bit smaller. And you're going to give it a, uh, a good black outline. Just like that. And the next two layers below the head are going to be the body. So you're going to go back to tools. And you're going to grab the... Where is it? You're going to grab the top hat. And you're going to change the color to black. And then... You're going to make the body smaller and you can make this in any size you want or any way you want. So you can be creative with it if you want like a fat dude or a chubby dude or like a relatively skinny dude or whatever. So for me, I kind of want mine to be like this and I want him facing the other way. So I'm going to flip it and then go like that. But what you're doing here, what you're doing here is... Uh, you're gonna you're not gonna just make it like this you're gonna make it go just into the head like that I actually should move this up a little bit more so there's room for the legs later but yeah that should be fun so it's gonna be something like that and you're gonna copy and paste it to the layer in front of it and give it any kind of color for its shirt um, so in my case I feel like doing a nice blue and it's gonna be something like that this head just looks weird there we go. All right, so that's pretty much the basis of that. And now we got to work on the arms and legs. So we're going to go in the layer before that. And we're going to grab 
the curve line, get a black one, stretch it out a bit on free scale and then put it back to fixed scale and start to make it a little bit smaller and you just kind of want to make sure that your the width of it is something that you're going to like so this one's it's not yeah it's okay so mine's going to be like that and the reason this is on the layer before the body is so that it hides underneath it like that so I think I'm going to move my head up just a little bit here so that I have longer legs. Uh, something like that. Yeah, something like that. All right. So we're going to have something like that. And it's up to you where you want to how you want to place the legs. So it's going to be like that. And you're going to copy and paste it and just put it on the other side. And in my case, I'm just going to turn it. No particular reason. I just feel like... I want to do it that way and that's the legs and now you can actually take these ones and use them as the arms and if let's say this is going to be the right arm but in our view would be the left uh, we can just turn it and it could be like his hand is out and then we can grab it again and if you want this arm to kind of like look like it's on the side of you and be in the front you would put this um, in front of it like that so it would overlap in front of the uh, the body but not over the face or anything like this so it'd be like that so now we have a kind of basic uh, body language type thing going on here and uh, I'm just gonna change this kind of looks weird uh, well, I mean whatever Okay, well, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so we got that going, and now we just got to do a basic face. So all we got to do for that one, it's really, really easy, like I said. Grab the full circle, make it black, and then start making the eyes super, super tiny. Just like that. And at this point, you can make an angry face. You can make a sad face. Um, there's really different ways. If you search it online, you can pretty much uh, find the gist of how you're going to make their facial uh, reactions for it. I'm not going to make a separate video for it because um, there would be too many videos on that. So we got two basic eyes and uh, it's up to you how big you want those eyes. And then you're going to grab um, anything that's like this pretty much. So you're going to make that black and you're just going to make it smaller and then extend it a little bit so it's like a longer eyebrow just like that. And let's just say he's sad. We'll say he's sad. So we'll put that like that. And, you know, there you go. You just place the eyebrows in the way it would look like a sad person. And then for the face or the mouth, because they have no nose, um, we can just simply, we can just take this one here, you know. Oh, so sad. So that would pretty much be a sad one. Um, and you're pretty much done and then you can customize in any way like I said if you guys search online you guys would be able to find uh, different ways to do it and uh, more interesting ways um, if we wanted to make it look more uh, like you know scared or something like that just because I guess that, that would make this one a little bit more interesting of a tutorial um, what you guys can do is you guys can grab what is that piece um, you guys can grab where'd it go I just I was just looking at this you can you can use this one and what you will do is you will flip it so it's this way and you kind of extend it out and then after that you can remove these ones and you make the eyes just a little bit bigger like holy smokes something just happened oh my goodness what is going on whoa and then you can even do this um, and it kind of gives it like this holy crap like I'm freaking out kind of look to them almost like they're frightened or tired ish kind of stuff like that so just gotta organize that problem. there you go it's like whoa if you don't like that one you could even do this uh, which is kind of funny too you can get the half circle and be like, oh my god, what? And if you want it like a 
like, oh, oh my god, like, whoa, what did you do? That's crazy. Then you could do something like that, too. Um, but pretty much, like, as, as long as you do a little bit of research, not that big of a deal. Just Google it, cyanide and happiness, uh, different facial expressions and stuff. Uh, the possibilities are, you know, endless, pretty much. You could do so many different things, and then you can start adding extra stuff for whatever reason. You could add blood spots on them. Like, let's say this guy just got shot, and he was like, oh, my God, or whatever, right? So that would be kind of cool. Um, so there, oops, there's something like that. And then you just lower the opacity a little bit and just add a little bit more. Something like that. You could even just put this one on the head if you wanted to, I guess. You know, just like, oh, something like, you know, just got head shotted. And now it's dripping down his face. Something like that. That looks just ridiculously scary. And, uh, you know, if you even if you wanted, you could do just a regular happy face. Oh, my God. And then you would add, like, uh, uh, new eyebrows, pretty much. It's really, I mean, there's not much I can help you with or tell you, like, like how to make your character super, you know, interesting. Like, it's up to you and your imagination and how you want them to look. And be reacting to in certain situations and stuff like that so I mean you know so there's that you could do I don't know you could just you could just have like an angry dude just be like that and that and then turn this one and then just have this here take that out and then give him like this kind of like like I'm too cool whatever it kind of mouth or something you know uh let's see yeah, you could do something like this and then if you want to make it like just a line you could just just like that you know something like that whatever it's really up to you guys how you want to do it um and just get creative with it and yeah i mean that's all it really is and you can add probably with this many layers, it's about like what eight, uh, twelve layers. You could probably add like another person on there, two people at most, at least, unless you're doing just head. So, anyways, that's a really simple tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's not really as super fancy as the rest of my other tutorials, but don't worry. A Pokemon-related tutorial is really easy to do. I uh, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like this one, and uh, please, you know. Uh, share the video, like the video, subscribe if you already haven't, that really helps out. Leave a comment down below, let me know if you guys want to see any in particular kind of emblems um, done and I'll try to do them for you. Um, in my own style of course, not in any like uh, copied way like a lot of other people on YouTube do. Anyways, I'm sorry for this tutorial being very long, thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, peace out, take it easy.